Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morpha Project. So today, um, we're going to be trying to get uh, this part over here up and running. So uh, we have now the axe done, and now we're going to draw the uh, for, uh, forward parts of where the axe is supposed to be laying down. So that, you know, the grass will work with the, with the forward placement of the rocks. So I'm gonna be probably gonna be putting some rocks down, and then uh, that should be a decent amount of things that uh, will be done. So uh, no further ado, uh, let's get started on this, shall we? Ah, today I also finished the drawing uh, <laughs> of the expression, and oh man, that was a nightmare. So much time, and then still it is not fully correctly done. Oh well, next time I will get it better. Next time. And let's see, we want this. Uh, we need to have this sketch to be upwards, yeah. This one, right? Yeah. We need this sketch to be upwards. No, I can see. No, I can totally see what I need to do. All right. So this is what I want to do. I want to place some rocks down and then, you know, put some grass around it. And then, you know, fill it up a bit here and there. So that's what I want to do. Um, We're going to do this in a different group. We're gonna do this also above the rock. We're gonna do this part. That's the part that we need to do, and then the rest of the part we need to do separately on the back side. Yeah. All right. Whew. Select the right pencil. Select the right amount of size. Select the right color, and now we can start. There you go. Now we can see what we need to draw. Excellent. Um, we need to draw, like, we're going to put this on 50. All right. So there's going to be grass laying around here, it seems like it. Yeah, we want to put grass there. So we're going to build up the rocks and then we're going to fill up the rest with grass. So first we're going to create some rocks. Like over here we want a rock. Create the grass where the rock's supposed to be. And we're going to create some more grass so that we have some more ideas where the rocks are going to lay down. Uh, like this. And then it's supposed to be like, right over here, it's supposed to be more grass. And then we can move onwards to here to place the next one. All right. Now we've done that, we can now add in the rock that we want. So we want one rock over here being drawn and one rock over there. But this one needs to be like so. And then there's supposed to be grass on top of it. Most painful thing to do is drawing the grass properly without ruining the whole damn rock on the side. And once we have drawn that, we can now continue with 
or grass expansion. So, my idea here is just to you know create this, uh, create these rocks, call these rocks in, and then you know see how um, that uh, that how this gives uh, life towards uh, the axe that are already placed down. After all, it's important for us to do this because of uh, the amount of things that we have to deal with if we don't. Yes, this is probably going to hurt us in the end, but uh, I think it will pay off. I'm trying to do my very best to here to create a moss-like kind of grass, because, well, you know, we don't need big grass on uh, rocks. We do need big grass on certain other parts, but not here. These are a little bit more of the... Uh, Stationary places where you know grass can grow, but no need for like big chunks of it. All right, there it is, and now we need to focus on creating the rocks. Ooh. All right, back to old fashion how to draw rocks 101. Uh, yes. I know now how to do that. The main problem with these rocks is that they are not um, suitable uh, for... Um, well, that they are not quite the best size. Let's put it that way. They're a little bit tricky on the side, which should be fine. I just, you know, really, really hoping once we, once we join the rock, that you know all of this will just go away. There you go, one. Now the other one. This one is gonna be a pain. All right. Yeah, these rocks are going to be a pain in the ass to draw. Because they need to feel rocky and therefore, you know, they need to have this feeling towards them. Which I normally can do, but it's a little bit tricky sometimes. So we want like robust rock effects on it. Right. And the more we are repeating the texture, it should be fine then afterwards. The main issue here is that I cannot uh, see into the future of how the aesthetics of the rock is going to be looking lately. That's the main issue with these rocks always. It's like, 
Yeah, they do look nice, but when uh, the hardest part is getting them right, just right. Also, this takes a lot of energy out of my uh, out of my system because, as you can see, uh, we need to fix we need to create a rock, but we also have we also have you know to we also need to realize that you know. Sometimes the best rock to the solution is normally the easiest one. And that can sometimes lead to certain kind of ideas or problems that can occur while drawing in the first place. And once we're done with, you know, these rocks, it should be fine, but we do need to figure out, like, how these rocks are working and how they react to certain types of things. Since we need to implement this naturally, which can be the major issue here. So if we now silence this, we can see that this is how the rock now looks. The main issue is, as you can see, the rock has suddenly some nice looking co uh, structure around it, but the main issue with it is that it is a little bit robust. The more we, the more we work around this, the more better shaped it gets. It's only that you know the downside is that it is like a rock. So, if we now, for instance, add in the, uh, if we now add in, for instance, the color of the rock, which normally should be around this color right here. Yeah, this color. And we add that in to our great lord and savior the, the the system right here we can see that there are issues one of the issue that we have with this thing is that uh, the uh, drawing itself is not fully uh, fully uh, drawn uh, it's not fully it's not fully drawn accurate enough uh, to, I believe it's fully correctly drawn with the right color. Yes, it is. All right, good. But as, I, as you can see, it has issues. One of the major issues is that uh, the light and the alignment of the, um, that you can see that the alignment of these colors is not correct. So if we now remove it, this looks decent. This? No. So, how do we fix that? Well, we need to draw over it again. But this time we need to amp up the, amp up the uh, line, lines a bit so that, you know, they will more likely uh, be, be, be seen uh, to the whole picture. Major issue with this is that, uh, you know, we did all of this sketchy bit and it didn't work out well therefore you know we need to add it up so that it does become well looking one of the major issues that we can have and to fix that we need to use the light dark move that we have been using on the rocks for the beginning uh, already a long time the major issue with that is that, you know, all the rocks will look a little bit the same sometimes because, you know, I'm a little bit at the, I need to figure out like, how the hell do I get it? How the hell do I get a good size rock and then make it not look terrible? And that is my major issue all the time. Big rocks, tiny rocks, they 
they have like this this uh, shaping problem with mine. And it's good to do this. No, 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 no worries there. It's good to know. But it does create sometimes a little bit of an issue. Because as you can see, I'm trying to create here, I'm trying to create here something, and then you know suddenly, doesn't out work out great. And why does it not work out great? Because of the amount of stuff that is going on here, and we need to, uh, we need to fix that. Or at least, you know. Fix at least the bits that uh, have been left behind. So. This will create a better look on the rock itself. Right. That rock now looks decent. Um, we do need some bits here and there, and then we need to add in. Uh, yes, we need to add in differences. To the main point. No, no, not like not more like that, not like that, not like that. There you go. Differences. These differences are like scratch marks that can you know be very helpful once we have the whole drawing in there. Alright, now we have the rock. Now we have the rock on the right position, we have the rock in a decent in a decent color and we have a decent looking rock there you go that's a decent looking rock now how do we then fix this bit up well first things first we need to get the old-fashioned color problem uh, fixed so we need to grab the lighter color right uh, right here we'll do the first the light lighter color and then we're gonna do the darker color so the lighter color is supposed to be around here And yes, you cannot see this properly most of the times. So, oh well, it happens. But the idea is that we're going to use this lighter color to differentiate the light, uh, the the dark color with the light color. Looks like it's not working properly, so we should up it a bit. There you go. Now we should have some. Yes, now we're getting there. Now we're getting somewhere. The more we do this, the better it gets. So it's, there is no downside to this. The only downside there is is that. Uh, well, there is a downside. Downside is that it looks a little bit strange sometimes at the beginning. Now, um, we can remove this, and then we need to remove. Now we need to remove the bits that we don't need. So we need this bit removed, that bit removed, and that bit removed. There you go. All right, continuing. Now that we have the color in there, we have now the main color done. Uh, we can now add in the different color that we need, which is 
going to be um, pull up. All right. Now that we've done this, we can now move on to the next part, which is the darkening of the colors. So now we need darker colors. So we now need to go to darker things like that. And we need uh, for that, we need this brush, I believe. Now we need to just casually move it around until, you know, the things that we wanted to be darkened up are darkened up until we, we see so. Also, it creates a more drastic kind of feeling if you do it like that. Because if I now do this, you see that, that, that this is what happens. And then once we're done with that, we can then start with the grass on it as well. And then we can fix that up as well to the end result that we needed in the first place. All right. Now, if we now add in the, if we now add in the color that we wanted, so the grass that is gonna be uh, this color right here, and we add that in because that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. So that is like, that is like a uh, pencil. And just, you know, move across the parts where the grass is touching. That's most likely the case that normally does the trick. So just move around the parts that the grass is touching. And then once the grass is touching, those are the parts that need to be colored in. The others, the others don't mind, the others don't matter that much. But those parts that need to be touched, no, they do matter. And now we can just remove this and we can color it in better. Because now we can just see where the hell we need to draw in the first place. So... Grass is a little bit easier and simpler to go around with. Especially since it is quite one of the most simplistic things to do. So you go for green, then light green, then a bit of dark green, and then that's it. And no harm has been done. With the rock, however, things can get a little bit spicy. But... Once we add the X to it, you can see that the X now actually look quite decent if you add the grass to it. They uh, they look a little bit more better stationary. Um, better placed? No. Um, yeah, better placed. They, they, they look more like they are in a, realis a realistic place where you should place the X. Rather than, you know, not placing the X at all. Right. Come on. And what we're going to do today is just, you know, add up the grass, and then once the grass is fixed, and once the uh, eggs are fixed, and then once this whole thing is fixed, you know, then we're going to fix this part up right here, so that this is no longer black, or darkened, therefore, you know, uh, Increasing the immersion of what was already happening. I like this. It's just very casual coloring things in with no problem whatsoever. And there's no issues, actually. 
which is quite strange. All right. Is that it? That's it, right? Now we're going to add in the, the light color. So that is a bit this one right here, I believe. And that one is going to be, you know, the lighter color. So we're going to add in the lighting on these rocks. Uh, let's put it this way. And then, you know, pick up the lighter color. Um, that is green. We can just pick it up like this. Wow. Green. Dark green. Lighter green. Ooh. Fancy. And we have done this. Yes. Excellent. So now we can add the lighter lighter touches to the grass. All right, nice. Now that we have done that, we can now add this bit up. So we're gonna do that as well. And then now we're gonna add in the dark color soon. Um, let me just do a little bit more highlighting. Then we're gonna add in the darker color, which is like this one. So if we now add this and then remove the bits that are colored in that I don't need right here, you can now see that this is actually working quite properly. So if we now uh, put this back in there, you can see, yeah, that looks decent. I like it. I like it. So this rock now looks like it is supposed to be stationary on the on the X. Now we have some rocks that are, you know, representing properly. And that's good. That's a good sign. And I like it. It's a good sign, good good amount of things that uh, need to be done anyway. So having this already there is actually quite good. So we have one rock, one rock there, and then uh, now we need to look at what needs to be next. So, well, we have this rock. We need to have these eggs laying around, uh, laying on these rocks, right? So we need one more rock right here. So we're going to put up one more rock there. That will cause the eggs to sit in place. So we have like one rock like this and then go upwards. And then we have one more rock laying right here on the, to on the, on the top side. This one is just a separate rock, it seems like. And then we have all the... And then we can just add the grass in. All right. All right, all right, all right. I can do this, right? Yeah, I can. Just takes a lot of time and effort to do this properly. All right. Hmm. Why is this a thing? Is it because of the amount of... Alright. We need to reduce the amount of... Um, amount of pressure on the... on the grass. So... We're gonna tiny remove a little bit of lines here and there. Apparently, you know, 
sometimes when you do things like this, you need to make sure that the lines are not representing properly. So they, yeah, that's good. All right, moss is now on the sh now the sh shitty moss is on it. Good. And now I can continue. All right. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Eggs, and then we need to put there. All right. Uh -huh. Mm hmm So I'm gonna move on and continue drawing. So we need to we need one that is like right over there. Like so. Of course you cannot have like a good you cannot have a good old fashioned rock with some bad ways in it that makes it yeah like that so if we now remove the if we now remove the x you can see that this x no we can now see that this rock is not fully functional like a normal rock would which is good so so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna connect this to the part that we need And let's see. Oh. Yeah, that works. That works. Lovely. All right. So, how do I want? How do I want this rock to look like? Well, we're gonna add some nice little curves in there. We're gonna add some little more curves in there, like this. And then once we have all the curves in there that we want, we can decide where the uh, bits of the light is coming from so we're gonna go here a bit so the rest is gonna be ugly as hell all right and now we're gonna add in the colors so now we need to do the tough thing Uh. All right. And done. This should be it, right? So if we now add the color that we needed to do, so this one, we add that to this bit. Does it stand out? It does. Does it stand out big time? No. All right. Then we need to continue working on it until it is standing out a bit more. That's always the issue with this anyway. Uh, and now I'm doing it in the wrong color. Great. So one, two, three. This should be it. Yeah, that should be it. All right. Now I need to get rid of this one again. All right. Now we need to get this into a good selection again. So I need the lighter color first. And we need to do this on the side so that we don't cost more.
All right. Then we need to get Targa, like so. Now we need to grab this one. All right. Lovely rock done again. Ah, don't you love it when you just draw rocks and then everything works out fine? I do. It's my favorite kind of job, you know, rocks, rocks, rocks. The main issue that I always have with rocks is like, ooh, can I pull it off? Can I pull it off? And then, you know, when you pull it off, it's like, yes, I drew a rock. And then, you know, everybody's going to be celebrating about it. Most likely not, but, hey, you know, I celebrate every single time I finish something up and I will be happy about to say that, you know, celebrating something like that, oof, it should be, it should be a thing. All right, now that we've done that, we can now continue with the grass because the grass is a thing, right? Or do we want to make sure that the grass is not properly implemented? Uh, well, let's do this first. So we want this grass to be there. This this is the grass that we so uh, so desperately need. This is a grass bar that we want. Then the question is like, should I then continue drawing grass on this side, or should I draw grass on the other part, where do, where do you know we don't have to interfere with the rest of the drawing of the grass? It can lead to some interesting ideas and some interesting problems later on. It all depends on the situation at hand, and therefore you know it should be definitely notified for myself. Right now I'm just drawing grass so that, you know, I know where the hell I need to draw grass. I think that's a good of way of saying it. It's very confusing, I know, but it helps me knowing when and how I need to draw grass. So I can say, like, oh, I want to draw grass here. And then, you know, people could say no. And this thing doesn't say yes. Oh, it does. It does say yes. Right, so there is grass here. Right. So now the question is like, since that we have now this, which is the grass, we can now look at this and then say like, yeah, that's a decent goddamn rock and some grass. The only answer is that this maybe look a little bit strange, but yeah, that's some grass and some moss and some strange looking algae on, on top of it on top of the grass yes it, it, it happens you know it's it's in the environment it's already in every environment here so it should be fine now um now we can see like ah all right now since that we do need some more grass upon on top of this all all we do need some rock right here to underlay the uh egg right there and then some pointy rocks so that this part right here goes also behind this part and goes upwards. All right. Um, so that's a transi transition uh, for, you know, from the background to the, uh, from the foreground to the background, which is important. Or at least, you know, it's important for the fi uh, picturing because if you... Uh, well, you can bring this up because it's important. Therefore, it is also very important to know. Um, oh drawing painting painting let's go for the ocean painting oh wait wait, wait. Yeah, there you go there you go there you go there you go i can show you all right Meh. we have the picture that i need to show it's a it's a big old-fashioned paper picture uh-huh i know so what happened here is that uh, you have uh, everything on a different layer. So you have uh, you have a wave that goes from transition from one uh, from one place to another place to the background. So instead of you know having uh, the uh, the uh, the items like the canoes 
or the ships, let's put it that way, are, you know, inside of the wave. Yes, that's true. They are following a, a wave and there is a, like a background under uh, near the wave. Like when you look at this, there is a back there is a background here. And what I want is that I want this background part that is now in the, the, the foreground part that I drew. I want that also to be in the back. I also want that to be included into the back into the background. And by doing by creating this rock and opening this part up for just rocks and grass or less uh, less darkness, less blackness of well, you know, the open gaps that I filled with uh, with, uh, with just pure black, which is bad right now. Um, it will create a certain it will create a certain appeal that will give the environment itself the ability to go from one place to another and therefore you know this big giant root will then serve if you then uh, if you then oh, if you then look at this the big giant root and the rocks will coexist and then you know push the back uh, background into the foreground without causing the background to be faded away or the foreground to be faded away so that it is no longer be able to determine it's the background or the foreground. That's the thing that I want to avoid. That's the thing what I wanted to avoid in the first place. But by creating this kind of uh, connection, I can, you know, make sure that they are maintained and that they have the same effect as, you know, what the wave does. So by doing that, it will give you the feeling of this, but uh, this, uh, uh, this whole, uh, this whole um, forest to be more uh, lush, more. Uh, how do you say that? Lush. I know that it's called lush, right? Because there's over vegetation. Uh, I, I believe it is the word lush. Hold on, I need to look that up. Google Translate, tell me what lush means. Lush, meaning. Please, what does lush mean? Lush. Extraordinary, yes. So it is a lush vegetation, yes. It's a lush vegetation that will ca uh, cause the background to... It will cause the foreground to go into the background and uh, vice versa. Therefore, if you look at the background, you will see the foreground more better but also you will see the depth coming towards you which is good because normally when you see the depth you can only you can only look one way so if you look at a normal picture do I have a normal picture do I have a normal picture do I have a normal picture with me uh, let's see if we can find a normal picture just a picture of a forest let's go for a forest forest there you go just dive in forest and see if we can find a picture of a forest yes we can see uh yes perfect Perfect, 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 perfect. So, we have this picture of a forest, right? So, we have this lovely little tree. And we have this water, swampy environment. And then we have the sun glare coming from the, uh, from the tree tops, uh, from here. And then we have the trees. So, if you look at, for instance, here, you can see the same effect. You have, you have the water and then you have the trees. But note how the trees are always, you know, feeling like they're adding up, but they also blend into each other, which is the which is the key point here. Same here, it feels like they all are connected, and that is all. Uh, that's also with the wave. It is. It it looks like it's connected, which it is. Uh, as you can see, it is connected with the wave. It, it with with how the wave works, but. Because there are parts in there that don't, uh, because there are parts in there that are faded into the background part. So there is water, and the canoe is in trouble because of the, it's getting soaked into the water. It gives you the feeling of depth. It gives you the feeling of space, and it will make you look more closely into it, which is the main idea of a forest. A forest, a big old-fashioned forest, is big. It will give you the feeling of it is being big. It gives you the feeling of you know all this stuff. I know every forest is just you know a dirt a dirt a dirt root with some rooty rootiness. No, uh, 
This is one of the most funny things I ever see. This is a place where you're supposed to be walking. In a forest, uh, for instance in Slovenia, uh, there is a lot of uh, rocks, a lot of environment hazards that you need to take care of when you walk into a forest. And uh, one of the most major problems that uh, such forests have that are in the Alpine, uh, yeah, in the Alpine? Yeah, in Alpine, uh, Alpine regions, uh, some of them are very different than others. You start with just, you know, ferns and some simple dirt going up with. But eventually you will end up with these kind of roads that go upwards. And then it becomes more rocky and more feel-like. And therefore, you know, a forest can have rocks. It's a it's a very funny concept. You can have a rocky ground with big giant trees in it. Why? Because trees are very good. Trees are absolutely glorious when it comes to certain types of things like, you know, I will make myself big here. Is there no competition? Good. Then I will be big. And that's what a tree does. It grows big because there is no competition. And the strangest places where trees can grow are very strange. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Now allow me to just go back here. Boopity boopity boom. So yeah, um, that is the explanation on how, you know, this grass is going to be going. So if we look at right now what we're trying to do is we have this, we have these eggs and we want these eggs to be feeling welcome in our environment. Yes, we want these eggs to be feeling welcome in our, our environment, so therefore we should build some rocks in it. Uh, one of the rocks that we're going to be drawing. Uh -huh. That is that one. And then this is the color. Yeah, there you go. So, what we now need to do is drawing a rock right here uh, for tomorrow. So we're going to be drawing a rock right here. And maybe a more, another rock right here. No, I think I can go for like a rocky rock right about here. That would be a good one to go for. Yeah. And then, once this is done, I will add up this part right here. I will add up until right about... Uh, where do I want... Why do I want to start the grass to grow a bit? Right about here I want this... So I'm going to be drawing here a line. I want this... Uh, I want this line to be right about here. This is the part where we're going to quit drawing. So we want a rock right here. We want we want a juicy rock right here. We want some rocky boy right here. We want that one. Because this rock will give us the underneath layer. So this rock is going to be like this. Yeah, perfect. All right. So we have a rocky rock right here. We have a rock right here, which needs to be drawn. Then, uh, I believe we also have already grass. Uh, uh, let's see where it is. No. No. Alright. Where's the grass? Where's me grass? Where's me grass, grass, and grass? Where's me grass? I, I swear I drew grass already. I, I believe it's somewhere here, so... No. New grass. Don't let me down. Grass. No, that's straight. Hmm. Difficulties sometimes. Oh well. And then it's supposed to be upper one. Um, because this one is just the grass on the. This is just the grass. Is that in the X? Probably it's in the X then, right? It's in the X. Is it in the X section? Probably it is. Would be funny if it is though. Oh, it is. It is in the grass. It's in the X section. Nice. So we have already grass. We have already this grass that's already there. You know, we we already see how the grass is working, and we just fill up the little bits. As you can see, this grass works well. We have the rocks. We have the grass, and then we only need to change it a little bit, the grass a little bit here and there to 
get ourselves to the right place where we want it to be and then we can just put this all into one picture which is important then once we've done that we can add up the verns that you know are also on the ground and we can have like this rock right there that is also going to be drawn in this will then you know be one part that's already done there there you go then we fix the whole damn goddamn thing which uh, is a thing that we need to do so i'm going to be saving this i'm going to be putting this on uh dip, 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 dip. i'm going to be putting i'm going to put this downwards then right i'm going to put yeah i'm going to put the x down so we want oh, we want this this is a tree, yeah. This is the whole tree, yes. So this is one part. We need to lock that out. Now we need to lock this out. And then we need to lock this in, yes. All right. So now we need to save this like that. So tomorrow um, I will draw the next two rocks. Uh, then I will add some shading towards those rocks, which is necessary, which we don't have yet done. And then um, we will start on drawing a Vern as well and then call that a day. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, and uh, today we are finished. So I hope you all have enjoyed. And uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day. And uh, bye!